Happy birthday and blessed festival of the Lutheran Reformation, fellow Lutherans. You don't look 507 years old, if I might say so. You recall that today is the birthday of the Lutheran Church. It was on this day in the year 1517, 507 years ago, that Martin Luther posted his 95 theses, 95 statements for scholarly debate on the community bulletin board, that is to say the door of the castle church in Wittenberg, Germany. And so began the Lutheran Church and the Lutheran Reformation. Martin Luther's timing was calculated. He knew a lot of people would be coming to church the following day, November 1st, to celebrate All Saints Day. That's what we're celebrating in church this weekend. It's the one week each year that we look back on our members who have passed away this past year and gone to dwell with Jesus. Uh, we remember the eternal inheritance that they have and the eternal inheritance that we will someday share with them. Still, it's sad, isn't it? I mean, I've often had members of ours say to me, Pastor, I know I should be happy for my loved one. Uh, he, she is in heaven, but I'm still sad. And I'll often reply to comfort them by citing some words from Jesus, some famous words from him, because they're part of the shortest verse in the entire scriptures. Maybe you know it. It's John chapter 11, verse 35, where Jesus wept. That's the whole verse. Jesus wept. See, it was at the graveside of his friend Lazarus, he displayed human emotions, his total humanity, his sympathy with us. Jesus was torn up over the pain and the sorrow that sin and death had brought to this world. And all of that, despite the fact that Jesus knew in a few moments he was going to raise Lazarus from the dead. If Jesus wept under those circumstances, he certainly understands our tears these days. He also knows how best to dry them. He promises he's going to raise our loved ones to life and us along with them. Come to church this weekend in order to celebrate that and to hear the names of our dozens of members who've passed away in the past year. Consider with me how they are now with our Heavenly Father through the blood of God the Son, Jesus Christ. And someday we'll be there as well. See you in church this weekend.